because I'm driving along a road that's usually, you know, pretty, what's the word, populated. And a deer just came out of nowhere and almost hit my car. Like, I had to swerve out the way. Like, thankfully, no one was behind me. The road was pretty quiet at this time. But, like, the road was quiet, but, like, there are lights everywhere. There are apartment buildings. Like, there's a fire station. Like, there's just a lot going on in that part of town. So, it was just, like, what on earth is the deer doing here? Is it lost? But, yeah, that was just really scary because it was a big deer, too. It wasn't like a little baby, like a little Bambi. No, it was a big one. I just thank God that I I dodged that bullet. Well, not a bullet, but y'all know what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Oh, been really do you have butter? Yeah, we have butter. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Naturally Tanya. So if you're new here, please don't hesitate to hit subscribe down below and click on the little bell right next to it so you can stay up to date. I don't remember what Vlogmas Day it is, but it'll be in the title somewhere. Um, I am going to start maybe skipping certain Vlogmas days or doing Vlogmas every other day or just fusing a couple days together. Because some days, y'all, nothing really happens, so it's like I don't want to waste your time, but... Yeah, I will still be doing Vlogmas, but I just not, the frequency might like vary here and there, all right? Um, so I do just want to show you guys, like I'm going to be taking out these braids. I've had them in probably for a little over two weeks or maybe three. I'm kind of losing track of time. I don't know, but I just have like some new growth in here. If you can see, like it's lifting, you know, like come on, I just feel like they're at a, like, a place where I'm comfortable with taking them out. Um, I'll show you guys what the rack looks like. Like, there's just, you know, I don't, there's, like, a lot of, enough for me to want to take them out. And my birthday's coming up soon, and I'll be out of town, so I feel like I'm just ready. Like, I will be ready for a new protective style. It might be braids. I might throw a wig on. I'm not sure yet, but I feel like it is time for me to try and take these braids out. Um, so, yeah, even though they don't look that bad, I feel, like, far away. Because right now, I don't feel like they're that bad, but when I get close... I just feel like, oh, Lord, girl, girl, you better take them things out. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to show you guys what that process looks like for me. I hope it should take me about an hour, maybe a little longer. I might do some off camera like the back and then just show you guys in the front so you can have a better view. Um, so, yeah, we'll get right
guys i am just coming from the gym um well i'm about to leave the gym i wanted to go on a target because i just wanted to go on a target i wanted to i'm kind of in the mood to try a new shampoo since i'm gonna be washing my hair today but then i discovered i don't have my wallet so i guess i'm not going anywhere but home and once i get home i'm not really gonna leave again i'm just gonna wash my hair so I will just use the shampoo I have at home. I think I have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo, which I like. There's nothing wrong with that. That's like, you know, one of my OG shampoos. But I was just in the mood to, you know, experiment. But I guess it wasn't meant to be. This filter is reminding me of... Is it Monsters, Inc.? Mike Wazowski. We're watching you. Always watching you. Guys, so I'm coming back from the gym. I just had a really good workout. Um, days where I know I'm gonna wash my hair, I have like that extra good workout because it's like I don't care if I sweat a lot, you know, like the buildup on my scalp because I'm about to wash. So I had a really good workout. Um, as I said before, I love my wallet, so the shampoo I'm gonna be using, I wanted to try a new one, but um, I'm gonna be using my Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and apple cider vinegar for natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. Looks like this, I've had this for so long. Um, and I'm gonna pair that with, I'm gonna combine my deep conditioners. I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Sacha Inchi Oil Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Hair Mask with Quinoa and Rose of Jericho Extracts for damaged and distressed hair. And I'm gonna mix that with my, oh, this is a shape moisture and i'm gonna mix that with my carol's daughter rasul clay softening hair mask for overworked and overwashed hair replenishes moisture adds touchable softness revitalizes hair has rasul clay aloe juice and cactus flower so i'm using both of these just because um in the last two months um i don't know i just like to be pre preventative <laughs> Um, because I have, you know, been blowing out my hair with the Revlon, that one styler, that hairbrush, like a blow dryer and a hairbrush. I've been using that because that just helps me to braid my hair faster. It helps me with my protective styling. Um, and I don't really think I have heat damage or anything like that. Again, I just like to be reparative, pre reparative, preventative. I get to take a lot of preventative measures. So both these masks are good on their own, but I'm just going to combine them because I can. Alright, so yeah, I'll come back when I'm done. And I guess before I leave, um, I I usually either leave these on for about 20 minutes if I um am not applying heat, you know, I let it create its own heat and stuff like that. But I'm not sure. I might apply heat. I have like one of those little attachments for the blow dryer, so I might use that because I haven't used that in a while. Um, and I bought a new one recently, so I'm gonna, I might try that, in which case I'll leave the mask on for like 10 minutes. So yeah. Alrighty, enough rambling.
my snack that I shouldn't be having. These UTZ red hot potato chips. I love all things spicy. Like, look at this chip. Let's talk about it. I love all things spicy. It's not really in my diet for right now, but I'm a work in progress, so. What are bones? Do you eat yeah. bones too? Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Why did I just fall asleep randomly just like on the keyboard like so tired I am so tired oh my gosh Whoa. 